So the point is, presidents need time away. So tonight, no lectures about the vacationer in chief, but it is only fair to point out that this president was an especially harsh critic of his predecessor for golfing and taking vacation. Uh, when, uh, when it was President Obama doing it, uh, candidate Trump and civilian Trump went after him for it. So as you watch this, just remember, this president has now taken almost twice as much time off as the man he loved to criticize on the campaign trail. Obama, it was reported today, played 250 rounds of golf. Everything's executive order, because he doesn't have enough time because he's playing so much golf. Obama ought to get off the golf course and get down there. I'm going to be working for you. I'm not going to have time to go play golf. He played more golf last year than Tiger Woods. This guy plays more golf than people on the PGA Tour. I love golf. I think it's one of the greats, but I don't have time. But if I were in the White House, I don't think I'd ever see Turnberry again. I don't think I'd ever see Doral again. But I'm not going to be playing much golf, believe me. If I win this, I'm not going to be playing much golf. I wouldn't leave the White House very much because, you know, like little things like these little trips where they get on, they cost you a fortune. I love working. I'm not a vacation guy. I don't take vacations. I'm not like Obama where he takes Air Force One to Hawaii. I don't take vacations. I promise you, I will not be taking very long vacations if I take them at all. There's no time for vacation. Other people, they go away for weeks and weeks. I don't like taking vacations. Obama likes relaxing and going on vacations. Me, I like working. I like working, I really do. If I get elected president, I'm gonna be in the White House a lot. I'm not leaving. We have deals to make. Who the hell wants to leave, right? Who the hell wants